Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually, I am so excited to make this video. Um, I wanted to make this video yesterday, so hopefully this will come out on Monday. I'm actually recording it on Monday before I stream in the morning. Uh, I stream Monday through Friday at like 10 a.m. EST. Um, and so I'm actually recording this before I stream in the morning because I really, really, really wanted to make this video. I meant to make it yesterday after the regional ended, but we were meeting friends for day. It was, I just didn't have the time yesterday, but I really wanted to get in here. And I really wanted to make this video. I um, want to do some more, like, I don't want to do just battle spot. Con I still call it battle spot. I don't want to do just ranked ladder content. Um, and I really, really, really want to talk about the team that uh, won Orlando Regional, which was, this will hopefully come out on Monday, Monday uh, which was yesterday, like this past weekend. Uh, Wolf won. Uh, he put on an absolute clinic, uh, and he was actually using Parish and Parish Trap. And it was really, really kind of like a VGC full circle moment for me. Before I even knew what VGC was, the first regional that I ever watched was in 2015. I could not tell you the regional. I could, I could probably Google it, but... Off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what regional it was, um, but Wolf won with Parish, and Wolf was using the the mons I can remember. I believe it was Mega Gengar, Arcanine, Politoed. I would assume, God, I would assume it was Double Trap, but um, yeah. So it was so it was really cool. So like I always associate Wolf. Because, like, again, I didn't even know what VGC was. Um, I had only really ever seen singles content. And so I kind of always associate Wolf with, with kind of, do, like, playing Parish, because that was the first thing I ever saw. And Parish is just such... Oh, like, I don't know, maybe I'm the only person who thinks this is, like, kind of a wild stra strategy, right? Like, it, you're playing Pokemon, but you're playing it in a completely different way. You know, you're still knocking out your opponent's Pokemon, as you do in Pokemon. You know, the goal is to knock out your opponent's four Pokemon before they knock out your four Pokemon. Um, and Parrish says, yes, I'm gonna knock out your opponent, like, I'm gonna knock out your Pokemon, but instead of through damage, I'm actually just gonna sing you a little song, and then you truly shall perish. Um, but it's, it's interesting because everything on the field Every, so, Parish, for those who don't know, there's a song, there's a song, you can tell it's early on a Monday morning, um, there is a move called Parish Song, and it affects every Pokemon on the field, it is a sound-based move, so it does go through Substitute, however, 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 you will see, Ashton Cox got second at the regional with Don Dozo, Tatsugiri, when in Don Dozo's mouth, is not a fa like, just like every other move that, like, just like how Tatsu dodges every other move, Tatsu does dodge the, um, Parish Song as well. So that's like, that's a kind of cool feature. So when I, when I, when people say Parish Trap, there are two, um, parts to the strategy. One is the Parish, which I was saying is the song. So on Wolf's team, as you can see, uh, we have the team, can you see my, can you, okay, you can kind of, hold on, wait, can you see my mouse? Nice, there we go, nailed it. Um, so on Wolf's team over here, you can see there are two Parish, there are two singers. So we have Screamtail, who sings the Parish song, and we also have um, Fluttermane, who sings the Parish song. And then the other part of the strategy is the trap, Parish trap. And so Gothitel does have an ability called Shadow Tag, and this means you cannot hard swap out your Pokemon, unless you are a ghost type or unless you also have Shadow Tag. Um, so for example, uh, if you, if you are playing Parish, if you're playing Parish Trap, and, um, your opponent has a Gengar and a Goldango that they, and they don't tear at either of those mons. Goldingo? Sorry, I apologize. I usually just call him Goldie. Um, I had a goldfish named Goldie. That's beside the point. Uh, Goldie was actually really nice. Goldie would eat out of your hand. Um, again, beside the point. So, wow, I really lost my train of thought. <laughs> I really lost my train of thought. Okay, so if if your opponent has two ghost types on the field and you have got to tell, you cannot trap those two ghost types. Those two ghost types can switch out at their leisure. In addition, if you use a move like U-turn or like Volt Switch, you can also swap out. Um, you just cannot hard pivot 
out, but a uh, flip turn as well. So any any move like that that switches you out, you can also use against Parish. Parish can also be taunted. It is not a damaging move, so you can use taunt on Parish at, on the on the singer as well. Um, but it was really cool. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are we? I have Wolf's team pulled up. The so we the, we have the paste. Um, also. Shout out to, I am using um, uh, VGC Pace, shout out to VGC Pace. So this, so this is the team that we have here. This, this is the team we have here. It's kind of very cool. So I also, it's a big joke um, on stream that I do, I am somehow bad at playing against Parish, and I'm also somehow bad at playing with Parish. In series one, um, one of my mods redeemed, I have a, re I have a redeem where you can decide what team I use, so one of my mods chose that I use par a Parish team, and that's like the thing that I love about rentals. Using the Parish team really like helped me learn at least a little bit how to play against Parish, which was super helpful, but so, Again, this was in series one. The teams were built somewhat similarly, though. So for this parish team, you have one big damage dealer right here. Uh, you have another, I believe Wolf's Arcanine was uh, very heavily invested in attack as um, Ashton Cox, who was using Goldie, um, said, I believe, I believe his Goldie was ex like very, very very much um, invested in HP. So the fact that Arcanine, I believe in two games, Arcanine picked up the KO with a Flare Blitz means that the Arcanine does have to be very invested in attack. So we have a, we have a plus, we see both Flare Blitz and Extreme Speed, two nice damaging moves. So with Flare Blitz and Extreme Speed, we have one damage dealer in the Arcanine, we have one damage dealer in the Palafin. Um, also we see Play Rough, we, we do see the play rough on the Screamtail as well for a little bit of extra damage. Because at least most of the Screamtails I have played against, I would say you, I, I would expect them to run Dazzling Gleam. Um, but the play rough does a little bit more damage. And I just, and I want to say, okay, 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 okay. I, okay, I just want to talk about the Screamtail for a second. So, I believe in my video where I talked about the Paradox Pokemon, I did say that Screamtail would be a good Parish Trapper. I, like, I always keep my eye on Parish because it is so rough for me to play against, so I'm always keep my eye, I'm always keep my eye on, on, on what would be a good Parish team. So, um, I, I don't know if I shouted out the Disable, though, uh, in that video, because I do think that's another, like, that is a really, another really cool, like, disruptive tech to your opponent. So that way, if, like, let's say, Let's say you're perishing and you have your Gothitel, um, and you have your Screamtail on the field. So the Gothitel is the trap. You have sung to them, you've used the Parish song, you have sung them a song with your Screamtail, let's say. So in that case, um, they, I don't know, they have a, let's say you've already Terrored, um, so you can't Terra your Gothitel to something that would resist a dark move. So they have a Meowskarada on the field, let's just say. Meowskarada, you protect, you always have protect, you protect your Gothitel, the Meowskarada goes for knockoff, and then you can disable with Screamtail. So now they don't have a super effective way, now they don't have a super effective way to hit the Goth, so that, that way the trap is, like, the trap is still, your trap is still safe. So I think that that is a really cool disruptive move as well. We'll see this, the, um, I almost said the Screamtail. No, the Screamtail's over here. We, um, we also see the Fluttermane, which is Sash. Um, and we do see the Moonblast and the Shadow Ball. Once again, not opting for Dazzle. Like, I see a lot of Dazzling Gleam on Fluttermane. So opting for the strong, moon, the strong Stab Moonblast and the strong Stab Shadow Ball as well for a damage dealer. So you kind of have like your three support. Amoongus is also great support. You have both Pollen Puff and you have heal pulse on these two mons so you can also heal up your if if your opponent wants to protect like let's say your opponent wants to protect on the fake out here or something like that you can take that opportunity to, to heal up with either of these mons which i think is really cool we also see the mental herb on amoongus okay maybe it's just me but it's like once once you've played against one mental herb amoongus Especially it like on ladder, you know this was open team sheet, so the opponent knows that it's mental herb, so it's not like they taunt it and then 
it, they discover it's mental herb. So the opponent does know that it's mental herb, but especially playing on ladder, once you faced one mental herb Amoongus, living rent free, living rent free right, right back here. Um, so I think that that is also really cool, just guaranteeing, saying, okay, if you don't want me to rage powder or you don't want me to spore, you have to taunt me, you have to KO me or you have to taunt me twice, which I think is also really, really, really cool. And I will say, Parrish is very, so one of the big things, like watching Wolf and when I was playing it again, this was back in series one, but Parrish is extremely, what's the word? Um, Parrish is very positioning. That's the word I'm looking for. Parrish is very positioning based. It is a, like, like if you want to learn anything about Parrish, please make sure to go back and watch the regional from the weekend. Um, Wolf put on, a, Wolf really did put on a clinic. It was, again, I do associate, because that was the, he was the first player I think I ever saw play Parrish, and Parrish was actually one of the first archetypes I ever saw in VGC. Um, incredible really 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 incredible uh but hopefully that like like i just really wanted to talk about this team um and about the regional in general because uh i thought that this was really i thought i like seeing screamtail and seeing parish win i thought was really 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 interesting a little bit scary for me personally um uh so aaron trailer was talking about losing to like in in one of the interviews aaron trailer was talking about losing to parish um and said it was really frustrating and i felt that i felt that i i literally i i was like that is that is me it's definitely frustrating to lose against um because you, you, you really have to say, okay, I'm either going to take out your trap, I'm going to take out your trap so that you can't trap me in, um, or you have to say, okay, I'm picking up KOs in three turns. However, here's the thing. So let, let, so let's say they go, let's say, okay, now I'm talking, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, I'm going to finish my thought. I'm going to finish my thought, but I, when I started this video, I was like, I could talk about Parrish for so long. I'm not going to but I could. And now here we are. I'm going to, but that's fine. I'm just going to say one last thing. So it's like, so, so the thing about Parrish is, so let's say you go, um, goth and, 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 uh, Screamtail. So Screamtail, um, Scream, so, so here you get to fake out and you get to sing with the Screamtail. There's not, like, Screamtail has really good, pretty good defensive stats here. And then you fake out, so there, so your opponent's only getting one turn, one, one, um, one move off. So then the next turn, if you want to, like you, your opponent can read this and go for a setup move. And I think that that's another option for, for, uh, beating Parish. But the next turn you just go, if your, if your opponent leads passively, if your opponent leads passively and they don't have a setup move, you just go protect, protect, right? Then you're already down. Then you've already, then you're already down two turns of Parish. And then the next turn you can swap out your goth, but they can't swap out because of the shadow tag. So it's just like, it's really, really, really based on positioning and it can definitely, because it's like your opponent saying, we're gonna play Pokemon, but we're gonna play Pokemon on my terms. And I just think that is, I think it's a fascinating strategy again. I am not good at playing it and I'm not good at playing against it, but I'm really eager to learn more. Um, yeah, so that's like, I just really wanted to talk about this because it was also really cool to see Screamtail win a, win the first, win the biggest, win the, the win the biggest regional, which is also wild. It's also cool to see Palafin. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Palafin, to be honest, um, as well. So I, I really like Palafin too. Um, so so I, I like a lot about this team. It is scary. It's really scary to face a good Parish player, like extremely, extremely, extremely scary. I do just want to, to touch on a little bit um, Ashton's team as well. So so in the finals, it was a, a Dozo versus Parish. And like I said, uh, the cool thing about Tatsu is when Tatsu's high, so like Parish is a sound-based move. Sound-based moves do go through sub, so you cannot sub to avoid the Parish. Um, you could be soundproof though. You could be soundproof. But the cool thing is Tatsu does avoid the Parish if in Don Dozo's mouth, so that's pretty cool. Um, I like a lot about Ashton's team. Um, I really like a tot. I really like attack Tatsu, and I think I think Ashton had mentioned it. There were a lot of very good interviews over the weekend too. Like I really, really, really good interviews. Um, 
And I think Ashton had mentioned it in an interview that uh, some players think that they can kind of like stall out. Um, not, I don't know if stall out's the right word, but uh, think that they can kind of pivot around the dozo and get intimidates off and everything like that. But as Ashton pointed out, and this is, I, I completely agree, and this is the reason I like the attack Tatsu, is if you're going for... If you're going for order ups, you can still kind of like keep up with their intimidates. You know, they can, unless they're running double intimidate, they can switch in and intimidate you once. But let's say you go for order up, it's like you're still gonna be boosting and you can still kind of keep up with those intimidates, which I really, really, really like as well. Um, and I'm pretty sure, hold on, hold on. Um, sorry, I have, I have also the pay, nope. Nope, nope. I have, I have Orlando Dozo. Okay, as of this, um, all um, uh, Ashton was also running the Resto Chesto set on the Dozo. But what I was looking at was we do a Volt Switch. We do have Volt Switch right here. So like I said with Parish, you can U-turn, you you can Volt Switch. But again, it's like you're if you if your opponent reads that and you go for Volt Switch into the wrong target and they protect that target, you still aren't switching out. You know what I mean? So the def definitely some thing definitely and we have a ghost type that can swap out. So definitely it was like a very, very cool, it was a very read-based game. Um really, really cool finals. Uh, if you haven't watched it, I would definitely recommend watching it. But I do think I'm gonna call it there. St I still talk for 20 minutes. I was like, I sat down, I was like, okay, I got I got I have stream, I have stream in 20 minutes, so it cannot be longer than that. I kept it to like 16, so not bad. But seriously, any support on this video, I would really, really, really appreciate it. If you would like, uh, please let me know if you'd like me to go over more of the teams um, and talk a little bit more about Orlando. I would absolutely love to do that. I really want to do more content like this. Um, I don't, you know, I, I will absolutely still be doing the ranked ladder content, 100% still be doing the ranked ladder content, but I really like doing content like this too, where I get to talk about the teams, and I get to talk about the experience of watching, um, the regional and everything like that. So please feel free to like, comment, sub. Again, any, any support is so incredibly appreciated. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Hopefully you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. If you have any thoughts about Parish, if you have any thoughts about Dozo, Par Dozo Parish matchup, please also let me know in the comments down below. And once again, yeah, just thank you. And someday I'll be not awkward about this, but that day is not today. Okay, for real. Okay, bye.